guys, it's Deanna here today. I'm doing a lip swatch video and I'm actually, I'm kind of nervous about this one because I did a MAC lipstick collection swatch video on my channel and my lips hated me after that video. I love doing it for you guys, but my lips were so mad at me. The color was bleeding towards the end and it was just a hot mess. They were, the application was all uneven. It was just awful. But I decided to swatch my ColourPop lippy stick collection for you all. I only have 16 shades but I know right after this video I'm gonna go back online and order more because they're amazing, let me just tell you. Um, these babies are only $5 each. These are only $5, like, they're a bunch of freaking drugstore brands that have lipsticks that are more than $5 and these knock them out of the park in my opinion. They have so many shades, they have so many different finishes, they're matte finishes, they're satin finishes, they're glossy, they're hyper glossy, there's just, they have a color for everyone, honestly, and if you don't like any of the colors in this video, I have a lot of nudes, pinkies, some oranges, um, and then some dark colors, because that, that's just kind of like what I'm into right now. But if you don't have, like, like anything in this video, they just go on their website, take a peek around, they will have something for everyone. They literally have some amazing colored shades on there, which I'm just like, I don't know if I can pull those off, and I don't know if I'd ever wear them out of the house, but they're freaking beautiful. So, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I also just wanted to mention that I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. Um, I'm not an affiliate of them. These are just my 100% honest opinion about ColourPop. I absolutely love their brand. I've actually did my first order months, months, months ago when they just started and I ordered a bunch of their shadows not knowing what the brand was going to be like, what the shadow quality was going to be like. Um, and I absolutely fell in love and then they started blooming and I'm so happy for them because they are freaking amazing So I'm just gonna go right into it because These lips are gonna be grump. I apologize if the application of the lippy sticks is a little Off when it gets towards the end because my lips will not again be happy. So Let's just get into it. Okay, so the first color I have for you guys today is called skimpy it is this really gorgeous, kind of like true nude, and it's in a glossy finish. So that's what that one looks like. It is really gorgeous. I actually really like, really like the smell of these. And as you guys can see, the tip is like kind of sideways, so it's really easy to apply, and they're really small, so they really get, you can really get an even application with these, which is really awesome. So this is skimpy. Alright, so next I have Cookie. This is kind of a true nude beige color and it is gorgeous. This is a matte finish, by the way. And honestly, for their matte finishes, like, this is really, really creamy. Like, I don't know if you guys could see how well that applied and easy, how easy that went on. But they're really comfortable on the lips. They're not drying whatsoever. And these last a really long time, especially, which I love. All right, next I have Bound. And this is a light nudish pink color. And this is in a glossy finish. Ooh, I like this one. This is another one of my favorites. I love this one. I think it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like that neutrally, kind of, it has a little bit of a cool undertone to it, but it's really, really wearable. Ooh, I like it. These are so hydrating. I freaking love it. Even the first couple of them, taking them off and putting them back on, my lips aren't even hurting yet. And that was not true with my other lip swatch collection video. So I have high hopes for these and <laughs> all the shades later on. All right, the next color I have is called BFF. And this is like a warm peachy nude color. It's so pretty in the tube. I'm excited. And this is also a glossy finish, by the way. I really like this one. If you guys don't like orangey kind of peachy tones and you are kind of afraid of them like I am sometimes, <laughs> not gonna lie, I don't know if they like, tell me if this looks good on my skin. I can't really tell if orangey's kind of washed me out or not, but if you guys wanna try like a peachy, corally color um, that's a little more orange, but definitely muted and wearable, I'd say, I would try this one because this one would be something I would start with if I wanted to wear orange and like did not feel comfortable with those, you know, peachy tones. This next one is called Cupid. This one is described as like a light peachy pink color and this is in a hyper glossy finish, which I'm so excited to try. I've heard so much about these. 
definitely want to wear a lip liner with it and it's kind of washing me out in the camera because I do have a little bit more bronzer on than I normally do. But this is really pretty. I actually really like this one. Depending on what look you're going for, I think this would look really pretty and the hyper glossy finish is to die for. Like you literally don't have to wear a lip gloss if you didn't want to. Next I have Button. This is described as a creamy peachy nude color and it is a satin finish. Ugh. I like this finish. This is feels so good. Ooh, that's another really pretty one. You guys, ugh, I'm so glad I got these. They're so beautiful. They literally feel amazing on the lip. This next one is called Tipsy. This is like a light neon peachy color. This is like a pastel -y neon color and it's peachy and it's really pretty. And it's a glossy finish. And I don't know why I've been really into glossy lips lately. So this is like perfect. <laughs> I like this one compared to BFF. I like this one a little more. I think it's just more fun and very different. I definitely do not have anything like this in my collection, that's for sure. The next one I have is called Vivid. This is like a pale kind of yellowish pink color and this is in a glossy finish. <gasps> oh. Do you see how pigmented that is? Like one swipe and you're done. Oh my gosh, I love this one. For some reason, I'm really into these brighter pinks and I love it. This is probably one of my top three right now. Say hi, you're being really lovely this morning, huh? You just want mama love. Hmm? Okay, this next one's called Cake and this is in a satin finish and it's kind of like a, a bright pastel-y peachy pink color. Oh yes. This one's definitely more peachy, like it says, and it's more warm compared to the other one, which was a little more cool. I really like these satin finishes. I didn't think I would like them very much because I'm like a either glossy finish or a matte finish person, but these are really nice. Like I said before, this is definitely more peachy and warmer than the Easy, which is a glossy finish. This is called Tuxedo. Now, I would not normally get this for myself, but I bought like a little package that had six of them in it, and I wanted like five of them. This one came in. I'm actually intrigued by this, but I never would pick this for myself if I just bought it randomly. It's a cool toned neon pink. And this is in a hyper glossy finish again. So I love these. So maybe I will like it. Holy moly. Do you guys see how pigmented? This one is fun. I actually do like this. I'm, I'm so surprised. Are you guys surprised? I never wear bright lipsticks. This kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum, just a little more kind of fuchsia-y. So this is called Confetti. This is the one I'm most excited to try because it looked gorgeous on all the swatches I saw online. This is a true blue red. This is also a hyper glossy finish, which I am so excited for because most of my red lipsticks are matte finishes. Oh my God, another favorite. I hate red lipstick. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, I take that back. I find it hard on me to wear. I love this confetti, get this. This is the one that's in the little palette kit thing. This is from the Forget the Fruit Cake. So they still have it on the website. I would run out and get this just for this color. A lot of the other ones that I do love are from this kit. Um, just like this last one, just like Tuxedo, which is, you know, it's really gorgeous. Um, so I would, I would run out and get it just for this. <laughs> I think this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear this out. Mm. Oh, look, I tried wiping it off and it got it all over. Oh God, Deanna, that was not smart of you. Okay, next we have Cheers and this is a deep raspberry color and this is a matte finish. I'm pretty excited about these dark colors that I have. I like this one. I'm, it's growing on me. I'm not a big berry purple raspberry person. It's growing on me. I really do like it. I love the name of this next one. It's just called Bitchette. Isn't that just like feisty? It's just like so, This is a deep red wine color, which these are the ones I gravitate towards. I think these are just so beautiful. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is a matte finish. This kind of reminds me, I'm not gonna lie, of Max Diva. Just not as dark, but it's in that same color range, if you will. It's like that burg deep burgundy red color. And this one is 
definitely more hydrating and creamy and more moisturizing and comfortable on the lips than my Diva one. And I love Diva. This is really gorgeous. I like this one. And the name. I mean, come on, bitchette, really? All right, next I have Lady. And this is a cool toned, I'd say like dirty burgundy color, <laughs> if that's a thing. Um, I don't know. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, so by dirty, they mean like kind of that brown, very in color. It kind of reminds me of Salem, just darker. I like this one. I think this is gorgeous. If you guys want to try out, like I've always wanted to try out like a brownie undertoned lipstick and Lady has done it for me. Okay, I know I'm going to butcher this name. This is Elair, Elairy, Elair. This is a matte finish and this is a deep cranberry color. So I'm more of a cranberry person than a raspberry person when it comes to lip colors. This is my, this is like my fall shade. E Elair, Elair. This is, this is like what I would go for. Last one. This is called Tutu. And this is a blackened red violet color. And this is in a matte finish as well. I'm, I'm excited and nervous for this. That is awesome. I'm not gonna lie, the last couple ones look very similar in the tube, but on the lips, they you can tell that they have different undertones and that they have different levels of red and berry and burgundy in them. If you like deep colors like this for fall and winter, I would get all, they're gorgeous. Like I, like look how white my teeth look. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love, I freaking love ColourPop. Like you know, guys don't understand. I have a, the biggest obsession with these right now and it is, it is real. It is so real. All right, so that's it for my lip swatch collection video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on other videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.